And uh, joining us now is journalist Vladimir Van Vilgenberg, who joins us from Erbil, Iraq, this after spending days on the front line. Thank you for being with us. What is the latest there? Uh, well, basically, the Kurdish Peshmerga American forces, they have almost finished their operations. Uh, I think today they have taken the Christian town of Batnaya. Uh, and also the Iraqi forces they have advanced. Um, so they're going to draw a line now, and from there the Peshmerga are not going to advance anymore. And then it's the rest of the 7 to 9 kilometers until Mosul is for the Iraqi army. Uh, so it's going to take some more time to reach the city of Mosul, but the operation is going faster as planned. Vladimir, why is it taking so long to reach the city of Mosul? Uh, because it's, uh, they were not very close to Mosul yet. Like when the operation started, uh, the Iraqi army was around 40 to 30 kilometers from Mosul, and the Kurdish Peshmerga forces were also around 20 to 30 kilometers from uh, Mosul itself. So first they had to take the countryside of Mosul. It was not that they were immediately uh, close to the city of Mosul. They still had to take a lot of ground to, to get close to the city of Mosul. I understand. You mentioned Peshmerga forces uh, drawing a line and not continuing. You've accompanied them for quite some time. Before the intervention of uh, the ally forces, the Peshmerga was seen as the only force as effective in fighting Islamic State. So what is the morale like among troops? Well, I mean, the Peshmerga are quite happy because once the operation is finished, they still have to take one town uh, called the Bashika. But once it is finished, they are basically have to defend their lines and the Iraqi army is going to do the rest of the job. So they're happy that it is over and that they secure their borders. But then for the Iraqi army, the biggest challenge is going to start because the closer they get to the city of Mosul, the bigger it's going to take. You also have seen that ISIS also can still do counterattacks. So in Rutba and also in Kirkuk, they have staged counterattacks. Uh, but in general, those attacks have been, have been quickly repelled. So I'm not sure uh, if Rutba is still under control of ISIS. I don't think so. Vladimir, from your personal account, is Islamic State losing ground as being reported worldwide? Yeah, yes. Uh, Islamic, uh, the Islamic State is losing ground, uh, but it's going to take time. They know they're going to lose Mosul. They just know it's a question of time. So it's for, for ISIS, they have a decision. Either they fight, but they're going to lose, or either just, just flee to Syria. Vladimir Van Vilgenberg, thanks very much for this.